Here is a really quick question that you may have seen on my Econ Lab, and we give you it gives you a little bit of uh, of good information here. You know, it says that it's a closed economy, meaning we know that net exports equals to zero. Not that that's really going to matter for this question, but just so that way we're comfortable with all of this. The MPC is point uh, six, which we know MPC is how is my consumption going to change given there's a change in disposable income? Again, not needed really for this question, but just that we're understanding everything that's going on with any questions that are given. Investment changes by 200, so what's the change in the equilibrium GDP? As soon as you see like, uh, as soon as you see something like this, right? You see something changes, which leads to a different change, right? You have to think, multiplier. And in this case, we have the autonomous spending multiplier. And what is that multiplier? Remember that we know that there's a multiplier that's equal to 1 over 1 minus MPC. So in this case, our spending multiplier is going to be 1 over 1 minus 0 0.60, which is equal to 1 over 0.4, which is equal to 2.5. So our autonomous spending multiplier is equal to 2.5. Let's make this a little smaller so that we can work everything out. We also know that by definition, right, my change in GDP is going to equal any change in any part of autonomous spending times this multiplier. That's the idea of the multiplier. While the change in GDP is what we're looking for, my change in autonomous spending given above was minus 200. I multiply that by 2.5. So my answer is saying my equilibrium level of GDP will change by 200 times 2.5, which is equal to 500. In this case, it's a negative 500 because we saw a decrease in the investment.